You know, I'm just wondering the claim about these needles. There were 400 found? Well, what I heard from our safety team who found them last night during a routine sweep of the park was that there was somewhere between three and 400 found. Where were they found? What I understand is that they were found around the perimeter of the encampment. We do have diabetics that live on site and uh, it's normal that there would be a few needles in the park and there's a safe disposal site for them. So I think there are still needles in those safe disposal sites, so these needles definitely did not come from the park. Why are you calling it a biohazardous attack? Well, when there are 400 used needles scattered around the park, I would think it's fair to say that it is a biohazard. And as for the question of the attack, since they plainly didn't originate within the park, someone maliciously distributed them at the perimeter. We can't comment on what their motives might be. But who would maliciously, who would pick up used needles and, as in the release said, systemically place them around the park to sabotage you? That's a very interesting question. I wish I knew the answer. Uh, I know that there are generally two categories of grievances with us being here. People who feel like we don't have a right to make use of this public space because our presence is excluding other people from the park. I don't think that's a fair comment since we're very welcoming and I think there's probably more traffic through here because we're something of a point of interest. Or people who take issue with our very broadly defined political values, which are just to uh, foster the growth of democratic dialogue and address the issue of the growth of corporate power. But do you think somebody would endanger themselves picking up used needles to put around the park? Well, given the number of needles, I think it's very likely that whoever the person who brought them to the park was, they were able to obtain them in a single location. I don't think someone stayed up all night harvesting individual needles from safe disposal sites, uh, which points to someone well enough organized to wear gloves or even more practically use tongs in order to ensure that the needles didn't harm them. Where are the needles now? We've had them. We've disposed of them. And when we talked to police, they were not aware of this. Ah, uh, now, we talked to the RCMP in the morning. I'm wondering if you talked to the city police, as you may or may not know, because this is NCC land, it is RCMP jurisdiction, and they were consulted with first thing in the morning. It is RCMP, yeah, I know that, yeah. but it's also criminal jurisdiction for Ottawa police. Ah, uh, we just had a, the, our police liaison down here earlier in the morning, maybe uh, 10, 30, 11-ish, and we kept him informed. And uh, more recently than that, we had uh, just constable on patrol come through and we brought him up to speed on the situation. None of the needles were found in the park, were they? Jay, where were they found? All along the grass edge of the park. So just inside the park, but not in the park itself. So there was no danger of somebody stepping on them, but they were close enough to, get to raise a red flag here. Yeah, exactly. And we make these sweeps every night just as a safety precaution. And you know, it's not unforeseeable that one or two needles might show up, but several hundred. So does it appear that somebody took one of these buckets and just dumped it, or were they...? The buckets aren't very big. Did you check the buckets to see if there, see if there were still needles in them, Jay? The ones in the bathroom? Yeah. Yep. And there were? Yeah. So they didn't come from our buckets, and all of our buckets together would not have that many needles in them. You have buckets on site? Yes. So we have diabetics on site, so it's necessary. Um, so it didn't come from your buckets. Somebody brought one here, what you think, what you allege, and then dumped it. Yeah, I mean... Did, we, was it a pile, or were they strewn they, about? They were apparently methodically distributed about the perimeter of the park. Methodically being, meaning... Placed every three to four feet. Placed every three to four feet. Okay. So that somebody may endanger themselves? That's, is that what you're... Well, hopefully no one goes walking in the flower beds in the first place, because they'll get trampled, but uh, if they were to go walk in the flower beds, yes, they would have constituted a danger. And I think that's what makes this interesting, is that on the one hand, they're clearly placed intentionally because of the volume and because of the way, the evenness of the distribution, but at the same time, they weren't placed in a way to constitute a direct health hazard because they weren't strewn about the fields where people walk. So somebody was trying to send a message? We think so. Okay. All right, you. I appreciate your time. Thanks very much. Thank you so Wait much. one second, I'll just get a quick two shot. Stay there. Get a two shot at that. Um, so they've been safely disposed of, and, and the, it's, this is swept every morning, like you do a yeah, early check in the morning. Every, early in the morning. Okay. Well, the medics do the needle sweeps. Right.